Hello, 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 and welcome back to another Rise of Empires, Ice and Fire. I am Mr. Gil. Thank you all so much for your previous likes, views, comments, subscriptions, etc, etc. Um, today we're going to do a quick uh, q and A. I I did one a couple of weeks ago and there's been some comments since then, so let's just go through quickly and answer everybody's questions. Um, while we're here, let's click on this and heal this guy. Uh, interesting. I'm actually going to dismiss these knights. I'm, I'm enhancing all of my Archive Knights at the moment. So we're going to go and get rid of these guys because we've already got excess. So that's fine. And then we should just be able to heal these few there. That's fine. Just a little bit of housekeeping. Okay, so we're going to go backwards until I can remember we've asked, answered a question before. Uh, actually, only 49 minutes ago. Hello, hello, Mr. Gill. Uh, I really like your videos. Thank you. One question, is it possible to make a bigger view of your screen? It's really hard to see. Ah, um, no. Uh, unfortunately, this is a mobile game. I'm playing it on a PC and emulator type thing, um, which enables it to be played like this. Uh, but if I zoomed in, um, basically, can I zoom in on this? I don't think I can. Uh, but if I zoomed in, effectively, uh, you would only see half the screen because this is a mobile, which is a portrait and YouTube and videos are usually done in landscape. Uh, so it wouldn't work. Unfortunately, this is the best I can do. Um, I don't believe there is a way to make this bigger. Very sorry. Uh, I'll give that a little love heart though. Uh, Gerardo Gill. Ooh, nice surname. I don't know how you pronounce that. Is it Gill or Gil? I don't know. Uh, I never did the exercise to know if to let them die or not. Oh, that's from the Shrine video. Thanks a lot, Gerardo. That's great. Uh, a few more people. Uh, Ibrahim, I've got a question. When doing National Quest, if I'm sending my army to do the quest, does the number of troops affect how much class points you will get? Um, if I send 40k troops, will I get the same points if I send 20? Yes. It doesn't actually matter what you send on the class National Quest. As long as you choose the right cards... So it went out. Yeah, I'm already doing it at the moment, so I can't choose my cards. But if I was going to say here, oh, I can't do it. Yeah. But as long as you choose the cards and send your people, make sure you always send them on the longest one, which will get you the most amount of experience and points towards the national quest. Um, that's kind of the key. But who you send doesn't really matter. It makes no difference at all. Thank you, uh, Ibrahim. Um, no way back 11 asked can opponents attack any of our centers or must they first defeat alliance center one um i've talked about this briefly before uh of course any of your centers are able to be attacked at any point however a rally point sorry i'm feeling a bit <coughs> sick this morning um a rally point to attack your center the first one must be placed near alliance center one so if alliance center one exists then you can only place your first rally point in band one which is the desert yeah you can see all the way around the side here uh, so if i wanted to attack this alliance center two the closest i could place it would be somewhere here now if this alliance center was already destroyed from a previous duel then i could definitely place it the rally point next to alliance center two if and i've talked about this trick in my other tactics video if I placed one here, I could make a very long road and attack them there, even though this one still existed. So there is actually no order. You have to attack the Alliance centers in. However, you have to place the rally points according to the Alliance centers. So a rally point can only be placed in band one if Alliance center one exists. Uh, if not, then you can place it in band two. If this AC2 doesn't exist, then you could have placed it in band 3 if there's an AC3 there to attack. Cool. Moving on. I said, I think I said the other day, I bit my tongue quite badly, like four days ago, and it still hurt. Um, sorry, so I might sound a bit weird. Um, hello, hello, Mr. Gill from Konstantinos. Uh, I have a question. How do we farm main resources while in rock event? I feel like I'm halted. There are no high level monsters, can't attack anyone due to nap gathering spots are low level also no time and stamina due to tile occupation and the produ production from the materials gives too little main resources daily tasks and province is not an option because upgrades cost way too much and can't do province events due to no resources for the main task i'm so confused okay lots of uh questions there uh 
So effectively, I think what they're saying is that not having time to gather uh, resources because maybe they relied too much before on attacking during a nap. Now, there's really only a few main ways you're going to get resources. Either you're going to gather them every day with your legions out, or you're going to get them from the event. So if you can't participate in this, then... I don't know. Fundamentally, you, you're doing something wrong. There, a, a duel is every Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday. So even if you used all of your stamina during the duel event, you would still have stamina on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays in order to do the uh, Clash of Province events, which would be uh, Mondays is gather resources, Wednesdays is research uh, science, uh, Fridays is train troops and Saturdays is the kill event so you would still have time and stamina to uh, do those um, the dual event itself only lasts for three hours kind of in the morning so I mean as soon as the dual event is finished you then should also have time uh, to gather resources uh, in terms of taking tiles I believe some people are ha have holding on to too much tiles um, if we look here into my territories so currently I can hold 58 tiles, I have 49, I keep uh, at least 10 spare, uh, well this is 9, but 10 spare uh, to participate in the duel if I need to defend at home, I have 10 spare tiles. Um, but you can see 49 of mine are empty plots and those are defending around our Alliance Center 1. The rest of them are not very many farms, however all of these farms are getting me more than enough. It's a couple of thousand there. More than enough resources to keep my honor structure full and producing at all times. If you have more farms than these, then I think you are not doing it right. You're not efficient. Effectively, as soon as you can get a higher level farm, you should move all of your farms up to that higher level and that should just be it. Um, you shouldn't be keeping, and I've been saying this to a few of our members, I mean, whoever has this, uh, they should probably get rid of it and get a level 5. There's no need for that. Um, in terms of defending uh, Alliance Center, yeah, that's kind of useful, but we could always work out other ways to do that as well. Um, so there's enormous amounts of res. Who's holding on to this? A level 1 crumbling mine, which is n has no defensive uh, possibilities for us, so there's no, really no need for that to be held at all. And that's you're wasting your territories, and you're wasting your uh, potential, basically. Um, <coughs> now in terms of uh, you say the gathering spots are low level you should be able to build your own and it depends on your alliance of course but I mean I can build level 8 uh, tiles uh, it says level 5 but if I place it down it's a level 8 uh, I don't know why it does that actually um, and you know you should be earning enough stone from uh, fighting monsters each day and donating to alliance technology uh, let's have a look here did I get monsters from you? Come on, open up. Did I get stone from you, I mean? I, I thought we got stone from them, or am I speaking out of my buttocks? No stones? Okay. Where do I get the stone from? Uh, why have I always got stone? Maybe it's here? Nope. Undead giant? <laughs> Where's the stone? Uh, no stone. Uh, the king? 500 stone okay so that's pretty useful that's an easily enough to build all of the resource tiles i need a day however if you're donating to alliance technology then you should also be having enough i mean i just purchased uh uh we can't see in here where can we see so far i've been able to buy and donate in the reign of chaos we can see here season contribution mr girl 29,000 stone in the last week and a half or whatever it's been um so that's where you're going to be able to get your res tiles from by don donating, getting enough stone, and then building. Um, if you can't build tiles, then there are enough. Let's have a quick look around. I mean, that's a level four. That's going to take me 200,000. It's probably going to take an hour and a half to two hours to gather all of that up. Uh, yeah, so I mean, that's still, you know, I could probably log in every two and a half hours, I reckon. Yeah, so I don't know. There's a lot of there's a lot of stuff you're asking there, Constantinos. Um, 
I guess I, I'm trying to say is that it feels to me like you're trying to do too much each day uh, and I would try and focus on you should always be able to get the uh, Clash of Province if you can't get the first chest then there's something wrong uh, in the way you're playing um, because training units just to get to this and remember all the points are different for everybody but that's that you're basically to get to this first chest you're gonna have to train maybe three batches of units maximum um, yeah so look I replied to you on there if you have any more questions hit me up anyway and we can keep on discussing it um, cool uh, somebody I can't Vladus Flav uh, asked what the Virtuos medals are for uh, virtue medals uh, I don't believe I have mine accessible at the moment no, I have already converted mine. Virtue medals are given at the end of the uh, Clash of Province. Yeah, the end of a Clash of Province season, which runs for four weeks. You receive Virtue medals. Virtue medals can then be uh, exchanged for Virtue points, I think it is. And then you can use those in the military. Okay, here, this is the military intelligence building. Um, at certain points during the game and I think it's at the end of the first week of a new season of Clash of Provinces uh, you will see a little shop stop, uh, pop up here called the Virtue Store and you can buy from there um, I also made a video on this a little while back so you could search that for Virtue Medals um, somebody asked me to come to State 6 <laughs> it's a bit it's an old state a bit, a bit scary <laughs> um, couple of other people asking what province I'm in I'm in 71 feel free to find me um, somebody else saying that research is very important you need to max your class legion as it's the most powerful agreed with that entirely if you are a raider if you're not a raider then you do not get the benefits of the class legion um, but make sure you research everything as well yes I agree with that research 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 is key uh, somebody else coming saying come to state 93 uh, maybe um, thank you so much yes yes thank you uh okay okay Ooh. how do you get maximum res from the farm uh, if you're talking about farms inside here these little production centers make sure they're always uh, upgraded as max as possible make sure you put people stationed um if you're talking about a farm account uh to be honest i don't know and i can actually show you here look we can go i've got a farm account and i barely barely log in uh Let's go here. Oh, I can't do it on here. It's only on my phone. Sorry. Um, we can we can we can find uh, my farm account. It's just over here somewhere, I think, or it used to be. It was like 15 days ago when I last checked him out. Uh, uh. Oh, there we go. There's the fabulous Mrs. Gill. Uh, <laughs> my farm account as you can see level 11 I, I maybe log in once a week to this account uh, and check it out um, I should do today because it's a Friday this is usually when I do it on a Friday I I think I've attacked this account once let's attack it now actually see if we get any res um, but that's what a farm account is for basically leveling it up until it's producing as much uh, resources as possible and then attacking it for said resources um, oh, I've got a peace shield on uh, I'm gonna leave the peace shield I know it sounds a bit weird because it's only a Friday um, and there doesn't seem to be a kill event uh, because of some of the YouTube and stuff like that there's a you get a number of people who um, want to attack me basically <laughs> uh, and they all take any opportunity uh, to attack me so I'm finding I'm having to be shield quite often um, but yeah maximum res from a farm account I and just improve it as much as you can and then attack it you know two to three times a day is, is what i would say uh and make sure that it is in a separate alliance from you a farm alliance and that alliance has not uh researched uh resource protection otherwise you're just going to be attacking and only getting little bits um of stuff somebody else keeps on mentioning a way to cheat the game i'm not going to talk about that i have reported them as spam dozens of times now uh Somebody said uh, the rock rewards are crap, Reign of Chaos. Uh, I kind of agree with that a little bit. It doesn't actually make up for all the time and potential uh, resources you spend. I guess it only really works if you think of it as a, a way to get possible orange heroes. Because um, you're kind of guaranteed quite a few tickets, which potentially guarantees you some heroes. 
But yeah. Um, an easy way to get your farm account to your state before is to use the activation codes. I don't know what those are. Where would you put an activation code? I don't understand what an activation... Oh, I can put it there, can I? Oh. Ooh. Interesting. I don't know what that is. Uh, okay, I'll look into that. Um, what am I ordered? Uh, I'm just in state 71. Um, <coughs> somebody else mentioned uh, heroes on my hero video. Um, and I think they were agreeing. I agree with you, Rafael Barboza. Um, somebody else, what state are you in? 71. Uh, what state are you? 71. <laughs> uh, and I think that's back to where we were somewhere. Four days. Oh, no, actually. This is still only four days ago. Um, what state are you in? 71. Uh, make more videos on the Reign of Chaos. I will. There'll be a few more on tactics coming out. Uh, learning a lot of things. Thank you. Thank you. There's so many thank yous, and I really appreciate it, guys. Um, Somebody asked about uh, fighting for the throne. Uh, unfortunately, I've never participated in the throne war. Um, my alliances, we're just not that strong enough. We just don't math. We don't care that much to be uh, the top alliance in the state. We prefer to kind of grow ourselves and our team together in a good, fun way. Uh, we're not going to pressure everybody to be the top. Um, so I've never done the throne war, uh, and I doubt I ever will. Um, Please make a video on war. Hmm, yeah, maybe. Somebody also asked to make more videos on the kill event. Uh, I probably will. I probably won't. I don't know. Guys, I have to be honest with you, You know, and I've said this before in other videos, is the kill event for me is, it, it's of course, it, it's a bit of fun, you know, going out and attacking somebody, and I occasionally do it. But in general, it, it requires a little bit too much of my time on a Saturday or a Sunday. Um which in my view is you know the days i like to not be you know having to get up early and play a video game because the for me reset is 3 a.m in the morning um so if i wanted to take partake in the kill event properly i'd probably have to start at about four in the morning uh which i'm never gonna do um and yeah i mean it just uh it just doesn't interest me it just doesn't interest me running around and trying to kill lots of uh, other people. I would much prefer being in a proper drawn out war, you know, alliance versus alliance type of thing. That sounds fun, you know, if there was no nap, that sounds fun. But just a straight up, oh, run and kill everybody and then port back, you know, yeah, it's not my thing. I will probably do another video or two on it, but it's generally not my thing. Um, and it's not that hard to work out what to do get over there make sure you have lots of uh teleports make sure you have lots of shields uh attack as many high level players as you can getting as many kills as you can that'll get you points then shield up or port away and do it again and again and again until you've got as many points as you want and then get home uh cool somebody asked does reign of chaos cycle through different development days like clash of province no uh reign of chaos is a totally separate thing there are no chests to earn from reign of chaos there are only end of season rewards um the clash of province runs continuously while the reign of chaos so they run together at the same time so only you know this is the focus and should still be the focus you should only care about this on dual days in my opinion the clash of province is how you are going to level your um account uh killing all i'd like to add so uh md mark that I'd like to add killing all monsters in general is important. They all give loads of XP. That's agreed. Uh, I've, uh, in one of my videos, monsters or something, or which monster to kill, I recommend the level 15 um, uh, whites or wits, however you call them. Um, and yeah, but any high level monster, kill them. XP is great. Somebody asked for a video on Reign of Chaos. There's lots of videos on Reign of Chaos. Somebody asked, how do you get wood uh, from there? <laughs> you can gather it from there or you can uh, make sure your wood production is high as possible guys the guy the game is trying to um it's trying to lock you into paying money you know you know there's no doubt about it that all of the resources up here come on man hurry up there we go all of the resources up here you know you're going to get to a point and i'm to be honest i'm at a point right now where i need to uh upgrade this one 
Lumber storage, I need to upgrade this one. Marble storage, how much is this going to cost me? Safe 48 million wood, how much have I got? 23 million. It's going to take me a while. Just even getting chests every day, even if I, it's going to take me at least another four or five days to get that many. Have I got the iron for it? <clears throat> no. So it's going to take me, yeah. I'm going to say five days minimum before I've got enough to upgrade that. That upgrade will then take two to three days, and then I'll be able to start on one of the other ones. And once I've done, I think there's three more upgrades, I'll then be able to think about doing the castle level 22 upgrade, which... I mean, that shouldn't be too hard to get again. That's going to be hard. 42 million iron, that's going to take a long time. Iron is hard to get. It is the lowest producing um, dinghy. If you look over here, sorry, I'm burping and I shouldn't have drunk the water. Uh, details. Income per hour, 8,900. Income per hour, 17,700. Yeah, look at the food. Uh, the wood income by about 17,700 so each iron farm is producing roughly half of what a normal other farm produces uh, iron is going to be the key when going forward wood will always be an issue to be honest they're all an issue um, what's this oh I'll take that thanks there we go some more resources fantastic uh, but it is just it is just a waiting game guys it doesn't want you to be able to go level 18 19 20 all in a bloody week it's going to take time yeah so and it's going to take longer each time it's an exponential growth so you know from 18 to 19 might take you a week but from 19 to 20 is going to take you three weeks from 20 to 21 is going to take you five or six weeks uh etc etc so um you just kind of have to learn a little bit to be patient um or spend all the money in the world really up to you uh two ways to do it um Somebody said, cool, thank you, yes, thank you, yes, thank you, and thank you back, thank you, thank you. Uh, and then, yeah, we're kind of getting back to where we were last time. Somebody asked what program I used to record vids. Uh, nothing special, just OBS, which is the, the free software thing. Um, I'm not a tech person. I'm sure there's many better things out there, but OBS is the kind of free one. Uh, to do other than that guys i think we'll leave it there that's all the questions i seem to have answered if you have any other questions stick them all down below um and we can do this again in a, in a week or so uh a sector sorry my phone is making beep noises um yeah stick it uh all down below and we can do another one of these videos asking general questions in a little while um other than that have a great day and i'll see you all soon cheers bye